Greetings all. We have International Men's Day coming up on the 19th of November and I'm here to tell you about a couple of events we've got happening in London. So first of all, we've got the March for Men that's taking place from 12pm. The route is subject to change because there's another march taking place that we're trying not to bump into. So we're working with the police on that. But um, as it stands, we're planning to meet at Trafalgar Square at 12, blow up a bunch of purple balloons. Purple is our kind of theme colour, so if you come in and you feel like wearing a bit of purple, that might look good. Um, I'm going to blow up these balloons and attach tags to them on which people can write um, messages about men and masculinity or about men's issues. We're then going to take our balloons past the Royal Courts of Justice and onto Parliament where they'll be released to spread our messages far and wide. And then at 3pm we have a conference going on called Messages for Men which is an undisclosed location because feminists like to try and shut down these kinds of events. Um, but it's in central London and from 3 till 8 we've got a load of great speakers. We have Mike Buchanan, leader of the Justice for Men and Boys Party. He's also a prolific author on subjects of anti-feminism and gender politics. And he is going to be giving a talk called Male Genital Mutilation and Update, arguing that circumcision is illegal in the UK, harmful and a human rights violation under UN and EU treaties and should therefore be abolished. We also have Mark Pearson, who you might have seen in the press because he was falsely accused of an actress, by an actress, um, of sexual assault at a tube station. He will be updating people about the progress of his ongoing complaint against the British Transport Police and their handling of the case and talking about how this will help put together a legal case against them and the CPS. We have Jordan Holbrook, who is an independent researcher, blogger, vlogger. Um, he is going to be presenting some research that he's done on the human gem gender empathy gap human gender empathy gap. <laughs> we also have Steve Moxon who's written a couple of great books um, and is very into the science of sex differences. He's going to be giving us some truth bombs on domestic violence, um, revealing to us that it's overwhelmingly perpetrated by women and giving us an analysis on how we can use this fact to attack feminist advocacy head on. Uh, we have Mike, Dr. Randa McCann Stevenson, uh, the honey badger. He will be talking to us about why men are funny but not happy. We have Joanna Williams, who um, she has said that she wants to scrap International Men's Day as well as International Women's Day. So her talk should be pretty challenging and divisive giving, given the crowd and the time and place. Um, but sh her message is one of empowerment rather than victimhood. She's a big critic of all identity politics and a big um, proponent of enlightenment values and individualism. We have Neil Linden, who is, well, he published probably the first article to ever deal with kind of men's issues um, or to digress from the feminist narrative, which was called Bad Mouthing, and I think was in The Times. Um, in 1992, he published No More Sex War, which he re-released in, all 2000 and something. Um, in a volume called Sexual in Politics and he is going to argue that men's social and political problems will not be solved by men acting alone. Men need the support of women who will use their power and influence to repair glaring injustice and equality and that men, women and children all need their interests to be upheld through a powerful body which will circumvent feminism such as a family union. 
We have Adam Bulford. Adam is a men's rights activist, the founder of the men's rights community, and he writes for Honey Badgers. Um, he will address the feminist definition of patriarchy, how it demonises men and in doing so justifies anti-male discrimination, obscures men's problems and harms and harms that they, they suffer. We also have Will Stiles, who is a 21-year-old architecture student. He's been in the newspapers in the last year because he tried to um, set up a men's group at university, a men's, some kind of men's society, and was refused permission. So his talk will expose and unravel some of the core overtly anti-male policies and procedures found in student unions and the NUS and describe his experiences of speaking up for men on campus. We also have Swain Opie, an original Fathers for Justice member and writer of a fantastic book called Why Britain Hates Men, Exposing Feminism. He will be discussing the rights of men to embrace their masculinity in the face of persistent opposition from power-hungry feminists. We have Belinda Brown, a student of social anthropology, or she was a student of social anthropology, during which time she developed a particular interest in family, sex and gender. Uh, she will be drawing on evolutionary theory and discuss how it is that the male contribution to the care of children has made Homo sapiens unique and how male attachment to children is greatly underestimated. Um, she will be arguing that for the sake of the survival of the human race, the unique role of fathers should no longer be ignored. Uh, we also will hopefully have time to squeeze in a short film from Fiedel Bogan, who is, um, uh, you know, been there from the beginning, kind of anti-feminist philosopher from the States, one of my favourite anti-feminists. Um, so all the information for these events is on our WordPress site, which is marchformen.wordpress.com. I'm updating as we go along with um, blogs called Meet the Speakers and giving you a lot more information about who they are and what their talks are about. Oh, I didn't talk about Will Franken. Will Franken is going to be speaking as well. He is an American Anglophile, a comedian, probably the best comedian we've got in the UK right now, and a social commentator. And he is going to be talking about, um, I think he's going to be discussing uh, William Blake because he's just released a film called Red, White and Blake on YouTube. And, um, masculinity and stuff like that. His talk will be great though because he's an incredibly engaging man. Um, so yeah, you can find all the details for this stuff on marchformen.wordpress.com. I'll put the link in the low bar. I'll also put the link to our Eventbrite page where you can buy tickets for the conference. They're currently £11.21 but it may go up in, in the near future. So get your tickets ASAP. And is there anything else I need to tell you right now? I think that just about covers it. Hope to see you all there.